Friday. I think we do a lot of videos on Friday. As soon as we get out of the house, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. but... Um, one, two, um, I, I know most of these videos we put out in the context of uh, you know, personal growth, mindset, entrepreneurship, business, all that sort of stuff. But we wanted to shoot a quick video uh, talking about, um, you know, some of our, our personal lifestyle choices. Um, one of the big ones being the, the choice four and a half years ago to uh, give up meat and become vegetarian. And actually, we recently, um, uh, well, I'll be honest, Kristen's been more more strict, kind of like borderline uh, vegan. Um I haven't really been um, too too strict on on giving up dairy or those sort of things, but um, we've both uh, made the choice, and I'm uh, committed to basically living as as close as we can the the, the vegan kind of lifestyle. And um, you know, I'll you know comment on on my perspective. Kristen can kind of add her two cents. Where where it all started was Kristen started watching some some uh, Netflix documentaries. Um, again, this was. The, this was four and a four and a half years ago, so where would that put us? Like 2000, 2012 ish. Um, and uh, anyway, she she came up with the idea right before right before New Year's of hey, what do you think if we um, give up? Uh, sorry, just had to uh, ignore that call there. Uh, what if we we give up meat for a year and? I'm like sure why why not and at that point in time like there was there was no real like emotional or or any reason on my part to to do it but then then we just started doing more and more research and just, just realizing uh not only the environmental impact but um the the impact on on sentient beings like once you really start realizing that hey like a pig has the intelligence of a, of a three-year-old person a, a pig is uh intellectually more more capable than a than a dog you know, when we went to um, an animal sanctuary in in uh, Las Vegas, there was there was cows there that they they were incredibly affectionate to um, to their handlers, um, like just social creatures. And, and unfortunately, with the with the meat and uh, my decision to give up dairy now, the the dairy industry it it exploits um, you know sentient beings that that don't have a choice. You know. Um, Pig, pigs moms and cows moms that are you know taken away and just uh, abused for years and years and years until their body gives out on them um, so you know those those reasons really um, are incredibly important to us now um, as a as a dude that works out and has um, more more muscle mass than uh, than definitely the average person um, I get a lot of guys that ask me, it's like, dude, where do you get your protein? Like, you don't eat meat, where do you get your protein? And um, really the, the biggest animals on the planet, uh, you know, silverback gorillas, um, you know, rhinoceros, elephants. Um, elephants, you know, they're, they're, they're all vegan. They don't, they don't eat, eat meat and, you know, they're, they're massive. So there's a lot of easy ways to get protein as a vegetarian, obviously. You know, there's there's soy, there's tofu, there's beans, there's nuts, there's green um, leafy vegetables, green leafy vegetables, um, chlorella, spirulina, um, hemp protein, rice protein, um, just just tons and tons of options there. And um, the other comment I'll just quickly make before handing it over to to Kristen is, um, you know, any anybody that spends any time on on Facebook, there's this um, universal theory that a lot of people either prescribe to or, or or it's a nicety and they, they, they like the, the concept of it and that's that's karma and usually people use it in the construct of somebody is in my opinion done me some sort of injustice so this universal bitch called karma is at some point in time gonna get that person back because for, for some reason um, the universe is this nice place and somehow uh, owes you owes you something and your your perception of justice is in line with um, what the universe dictates. Uh, I don't, obviously, as you can tell, I don't prescribe that philosophy personally, but um, usually people think of karma and it's like petty shit. It's like, oh, this person lied to me, or, you know, this, this person didn't follow through on what they did, or, you know, this person exploited me somehow, or, or whatever the case. But if, if you actually prescribe to, to, you know, that sort of belief, um, as, as somebody that eats meat, consumes dairy, um, wears a lot of leather products, and yes, we're in a BMW. Yes, these are leather seats. 
we bought this before this decision. Um, again, we're, we're shifting as much as we can towards the, the, the vegan spectrum. But um, un, whether it's out of pure ignorance or whether it's not caring, um, your, your, your food choices are you know, impacting uh, the lives of tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, um, you know, millions of you know beings that experience the same the same gamut of emotions that we have um, have the same or, or similar um, you know family family bond to their to their loved ones and you know you, you can see it just just go on YouTube and, and look up you know animal sanctuaries look up um, animals that were were rescued um, even if it was from um, you know product uh, consumer product companies that test products on animals for whatever reason like like I care that you know it didn't cause a rash on a on a you know a primate, so you know it's it's okay for me. Um, that sort of bullshit. And and when you see these um, you know animals released into like a hospitable environment where they're no longer um, you know emotionally, physically, mentally abused, um, the the change in their spirit is is you know quite quite incredible. So you know the 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 fact of that you know to be honest. Um, I like drink coffee, you know, one of, one of my kind of, um, uh, cheat things is, you know, I put Bailey's in my coffee, obviously Bailey's has cream, which at some point in time originated from a, from a cow somewhere, but, uh, they also have, um, almond milk Bailey's that, you know, was, didn't, didn't obviously come from a cow. Some, somebody milked an almond somewhere. Um, but you know, yeah, yes, I like the, the dairy one more. It's it's creamier, it's it's richer. Um, I like the taste better, but am I such an asshole that, um, you know, my desire to have a, a, a rich and creamy uh, beverage um, trumps another animal's right to happiness? Like that, it's kind of fucked when you put it in, in that perspective. So, um, you know, that's that's my commitment. Like I said, we're, we're shifting to as, as vegan as we we you know can be you know we're we're human we make mistakes like everybody else but um you know for for those reasons that's why i'm personally making that shift yeah we get asked this a lot and um so we just want to shoot this video for that reason i apologize i'm sick and very very pregnant um yes i have may not ate any meat products during this pregnancy um you know, I just got off a podcast talking about how, you know, um, scientifically proven my risk of gestational diabetes um, is lower um, because I don't eat those products, which is huge. And, you know, that's the other thing. When I started to research, um, you know, diets, our background is the fitness industry. Um, we're used to, you know, protein shakes and, you know, supplements galore and, you know, being in the gym all the time. Um, you know, that is a part of our lifestyle, you know, researching diets and reading them, whether you're reading women's health or, you know, oxygen or, you know, T Nation or whatever it may be. There's always the latest thing, greatest fad, you know, right now, you know, there's the keto diet and the, you know, eat fucking bacon diet, all these things. And the reality is, uh, for Ryan and I, we like science-based things, not just the next trend. And that was what I seen and couldn't ignore, you know, a plant-based diet is the only diet out there that is proven to reverse heart disease. Or, um, you know, you can reverse fatty liver disease. Um, you know, you are proven to live longer. And if the number one killer now in the world is based on people's diets, that means the number one killer in this world can be reversed and is a complete choice. And that's kind of where I get fired up in this situation is um, we're all adults. We choose what goes into our mouth and don't get me wrong. I've had, you know, some crazy pregnancy things where I want to have Slurpees, um, you know, and ice cream. But, you know, those aren't everyday things for us by any means because we choose what goes in our body. We only have one. And if a plant-based lifestyle is scientifically proven um, to have our brain function better, all of our organ systems function better, you know, have our unborn baby be smarter and healthier, have less complications through this pregnancy, um, and going over into our elder years, we, I feel, would be, I don't know what the right word is, Ryan, to not listen to that knowledge. You know, it's like reading a book or listening to a teacher 
oh, here it is. It's those people that call you and say, can I pick your brain? Can I take you for coffee? Um, you know, and they want to just somehow extract your 10 years of business or your entrepreneurship or whatever, and they obviously don't want to pay you for it. Um, and then they spend, use all your time, and then they don't implement anything. That is what I feel um, most of us do um, intentionally, maybe unintentionally, is we know what's best for our bodies, we know what feels better, and um, we can't ignore that. So that was a huge thing for us. Um, you know, I always continue to, uh, you know, read and watch and documentaries. So if you do want something, you know, just hit up Netflix. You'll see a lot of plant-based stuff. Farmageddon is a great one. Uh, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. Um, recently, I just watched the sugar one, so I want to touch base on that. The China Study, um, How Not to Die is a book that I'm, uh, you know, dying to read. Um, you know, all these things are scientifically proving that a plant-based lifestyle, it can reverse disease, heal you, um, and is really the only one out there to do that. So, you know, yes, through this pregnancy, um, you know, I did have some bumps, so I did eat some products with eggs and things, but immediately, um, my body tells me that I should not do that. Um, anytime I do slip or we do slip, I feel sick. And the reality is most people just feel sick all the time. So when you start cleaning up your diet and realizing you don't have to feel like that, it is unbelievable. So the next thing, um, I started watching this documentary, I think it's just called Sugar or something. Um, it was very popular all over social media before. And that's our newest thing to eliminate out of our diet. Um, we're going to slowly do that elimination. I don't really think I want uh, headaches and the mood swings right now while being this super pregnant. Um, but, uh, you know, it was again, I watched a documentary, scientific based, and I could not not make a change in my life for the better knowing that information. It has to be implemented. Um, so we're very excited about that. You know, we obviously know we're having a baby. There's going to be challenges. You know from you know cupcakes at birthdays to things like that but you know we do plan on you know doing our best um, in the world we live in to adjust and you know not be crazy um, we don't want to end up in the news like some parents or something that, um, but you know our daughter will be um, a vegan until it's her choice to make a decision and then hopefully from there we've educated her enough whether you know whatever it is that keeps her on the lifestyle or not that's up to them but uh, you know we definitely love animals um, that's been a transition as far as the rest of our lifestyle not just what goes into our mouth so every time we pick up a label every time we buy clothes every time we're looking at shoes you know little things like that we now make decisions based on how they were made how they were produced um, and additionally you know who made them whether human or animal products so you know I do encourage you to do some research and you know find out who's being exploited for your products and what you're putting on there you know going into a more natural lifestyle can actually be far more cost-effective um, I put far more or less chemicals on my skin now which is unbelievable you can make virtually anything uh, sunscreen moisturizer deodorant you name it you can make it all naturally um, and they're far better for you. So, um, you know, I feel really great. If you have any more questions for us, you know, let us know. But, you know, we're not lacking protein. Uh, we do take a vitamin B12, um, like shot. Like, uh, I take it twice a week, or I take it once a week. Uh, we take a natural, um, like vegan vitamin um, from Throne. And we also take a product called Proteinum, which is an anti-inflammatory kind of turmeric. Um, proven to extend your life over seven years, um, you know, folic acid while pregnant. But other than that, we don't take too much, like spirulina and corella. And, you know, if you are eating, you know, a plant-based lifestyle, you don't really have to. That's the other thing. So, you know, you're going to see us hopefully change over the next couple of weeks. Uh, one, becoming parents. <laughs> and two, it'll be interesting to see the removal of sugar from our diet. But yeah, we just wanted to touch on this let you know and um, you know if you are educated and you take time to understand this uh, it's time to start implementing in your life instead of ignoring it um, whether it's you know you're starting with a couple less days of meat um, you know you're eliminating meat maybe you're only having fish and chicken um, you know dairy is huge for you know skin disorders eczema breakouts sugar 
Um, you know, all those kind of things that show up in your on the outside come from the inside. So, you know, maybe you eliminate dairy, something. We just encourage you to make a step, whether it's for your personal health, whether it's because you have a love of animals like we do, um, you know, whatever the decision may be, maybe you're unhealthy and you need to lose weight, uh, we just encourage you to do a little research and, you know, maybe take a step in the right direction and uh, understand a little bit more why we live this lifestyle. And, uh, yeah, anything else, Bill? Um, just one, one last thing popped into my head. Um, you know, I think this is a, personally a, a very uh, Hippocratic statement, um, but I'll see on Facebook people are like, oh, I absolutely love animals. And then, you know, the next day you see them like, you know, posting a picture of a big ass steak or, you know, a bunch of bacon that they're they're eating or whatever. And it's, it's um, a, a false statement. Um, you love certain animals. You love certain animals that um, we as a, uh, a segment of the globe have decided that these animals are are in the pet category so um, you know obviously um, cats and dogs being the, the two most popular um, <coughs> dogs being the, 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 the better of the two but you know cats aren't bad um, you know we as a Western culture have decided okay these these are um, pets you know these are part of our family um, versus like you know, if we we're as a Westerner to look at China um, during this like massive dog eating festival they have yearly where they literally kill um, tens of thousands of dogs, we look at that with um, disdain. disdain. Like we're like, that's absolutely disgusting. Those people are barbaric. Um, but that's exactly what we do with, with other animals. Cattle, you know, sheep, cattle, pigs, sheep, chickens, pigs, chickens um, you know, literally any any animal that you would regularly see on a on a, a, a dinner plate in in you know Western Western society. So you know, it's one of those things where we've identified some like you know never never would you allow somebody to treat a, a dog or a cat uh, the way that um, you know we we as a society treat livestock. Um, but then you know another part of the world. Um, they don't identify um, animals that we categorize as pets as pets to, to them that's livestock to them that's you know a, a, a food source um, so it's one of those things like if you're making that statement um, in my opinion um, you know let, let it be true it's either you like animals uh, therefore you're against the exploitation of all animals or you like Specific animals. cats and dogs um, but <laughs> And, 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 and horses. Um, so we'll leave it at that, guys. Um, you know, if you guys have any, any questions or whatever on, on this lifestyle, uh, like Kristen said, there's, you know, tons of videos on YouTube, tons of documentaries on Netflix, uh, you know, tons of books you can read um, to, you know, to educate yourself and to, and to make that choice. But, you know, for us, it, it makes a lot of sense. You know, we feel better, um, you know, we, physically we feel better um, you know mentally just knowing that we're not we're we're mitigating the amount of harm that we're, we're putting on on the environment here here's just one other quick factoid for you guys the food industry um, so we're you know global warming uh, if you support Trump you probably don't believe in global warming because he, he doesn't seem to but but Trump's that's a, a <laughs> but that's a, a another topic altogether um, but you know we're, we're seeing all these all these shifts um, you know, obviously, electric vehicles are going to be the next um, next big thing. Every essentially every major auto manufacturer in the world is is really, you know, putting uh, putting a lot of lot of capital into uh, launching launching electric vehicles. Um, there's you know, Europe's always way more forward than we are in uh, in North America here, but um, you know, Denmark, Norway, uh, Germany, uh, maybe some some other countries have actually. Uh, committed to actual timelines in which um, the sale of uh, internal combustion engine vehicles will actually be uh, prohibited. So not to say they won't be on the road, they just won't be sold anymore. So you know a lot of shifts like that, um, you know solar solar panels, um, renewable energy sources, geothermal, uh, wind power, um, you know there's there's a big shift in, in society but what people don't realize is that the largest single uh, impact on the environment isn't isn't from this global fleet of vehicles that's you know 
moving moving around the world, it's literally the food industry. You know, the fact that it takes tens of thousands of gallons of water to put, you one know, pound of beef one, on one pound of beef on your plate um, versus if you compare that to, um, you know, uh, a vegetarian diet, uh, there's still a lot of resources, but in comparison, um, they're very negligible in terms of the amount of resources that go into processing uh, vegetarian based food as opposed to uh, meat and dairy. Um, and so if, if again, you know, educate yourself, but if environmental issues are something that's really really important to you um, that's you know another reason that this lifestyle makes sense so uh, we could go on and on and on um, you know uh, thanks for checking out this video you know comment uh, like share all that fun stuff and you know do your part educate yourself we're, we're not here to make the decision for you um, sorry we just got to a dog park and our dogs going in shit but um, you know, we're, we're not here to make a decision for you. We're just here to share our story, our experience, and our views. So cheers, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll uh, see you in the next video.